Utah Jazz, last year's beaten finalist, entering Game 3 against the Sacramento Kings, having been shocked by the underdogs in Game 2, when Sacramento squared the series at 1-1. The Kings chasing their first home playoff win since 1981 Wednesday night, and were ready to defend by fair means and foul. Jason Williams nailing John Stockton there. On offense, Williams was also firing, pulling up here with a distant three-pointer as the Kings took an early lead. By comparison, Utah's normally reliable Cole Malone was struggling. He'd shoot 0 for 6 from the field. And with Vladdy Divac and Williams on their game, the Kings were able to turn it on. Collis Williamson with the layup as the Kings went on to an 84-81 win to go 2-1 up and put the Jazz on the verge of elimination. Locked at 1-1 in the series, the New York Knicks and Miami Heat faced off at the Madison Square Garden where the Knicks came on strong in the second quarter. Marcus Canby there with the slam and now then Latrell Sprewell with the three-pointer, helping them to a 12-point lead at the half. Miami, by contrast, was stone cold. Dan Marley here, rimming out from the corner, leaving coach Pat Riley terse-lipped. Meanwhile, the Knicks rolled on. Kurt Thomas blocking Clarence Witherspoon with the shot there, while at the other end, Larry Johnson nails the three ball to put the Knicks up by 18. And Thomas would cap a 30-2 run by the Knicks. As New York took a 2-1 lead in the series with a 97-73 win. In the night's other games, the Portland Trailblazers wrapped up a 3-0 sweep of the Phoenix Suns with a 103-93 victory. The Blazers making the conference semis after falling at the first hurdle in each of the last six years. Meanwhile, the Detroit Pistons staved off the clean sweep against the Atlanta Hawks, closing the series deficit to 2-1 with a 79-63 uh, victory. It's Los Angeles Lakers opening round series stood on the brink of being a bust, especially with Houston standing on the edge of elimination via a sweep. This veteran laid team needed to win at home Thursday or their shortened season would come to a premature end. Lakers off to a quick start behind Shaquille O'Neal's 10 rebounds and into the night. Lakers up by 11, but Scottie Pippen, of all people, led the Rockets back. The behind the back pass there to Barkley for the slam. The spin move here for another slam. And then a long jumper to end the first half. Pippen making a strong return after a horrendous start to these playoffs. Lakers wouldn't go away in the third quarter. Glenn Rice with the lay-in and the foul. Los Angeles up by one, but too much Pippen in the end. This three-pointer part of a playoff career-high 37 points. As the Rockets win 102-88, while the victory was impressive, it wasn't enough to pull Houston out of the fire. L.A. can still close out the series with a win Saturday in Texas. San Antonio is a road victory away from ending its opening round series with Minnesota. David Robinson was three assists shy of a triple-double as the Spurs beat the T-Wolves by 14 points. In the Eastern Conference, Orlando coach Chuck Daly was in the middle of a courtside scuffle as the Magic went to Philadelphia Thursday for game three of their first round series. Allen Iverson nabs the inbound pass. He'd finish with 10 steals, an NBA playoff record. Sixers by 17 in the third quarter. They would add to it here. Larry Hughes with the big finish. And the Sixers are soaring. One more time for Hughes. This time getting the feed from Eric Snow. The alley-oop. And then Hughes calls a timeout for Orlando. The Sixers sit on the brink of advancing. Philadelphia, seated sixth in the Eastern Conference bracket, can eliminate the third seeded Magic with a win on Saturday. Indiana, meanwhile, safely into the second round of the playoffs after giving Milwaukee their walking papers by way of a 99-91 victory.